Let us now pray the Oratio Imperata for protection against COVID-19. Please all kneel. Merciful and compassionate Father, we come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and claimed many lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope, and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. We thank you for the vaccines developed made possible by your guiding hands. Bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Amen. Our Lady, Health of the Sick, Pray for us. Saint Joseph, Pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel, Pray for us. San Roque, Pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz, Pray for us. San Pedro Calungsod, Pray for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, today we celebrate the feast of the visitation of the Blessed Virgin Mary. Every time we celebrate the Eucharist, the Lord visits us and comes to us in a very special way, through His Word and through His own body and blood. Let us now prepare ourselves to receive Jesus. Let us call to mind our sins and entrust ourselves to God's merciful love. Lord Jesus, you are mighty God and Prince of Peace. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are Son of God and Son of Mary. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are Word made flesh and splendor of the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Glory to God in the highest, and, and on, on earth, earth peace, peace to people of, of goodwill. Good we, we praise you, you we bless you, you we adore you, you we glorify you, you we give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, Heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, Only Begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, 
You alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty, ever-living God, who while the Blessed Virgin Mary was carrying your Son in her womb, inspired her to visit Elizabeth, grant us, we pray, that faithful to the promptings of the Spirit, we may magnify your greatness with the Virgin Mary at all times. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Zephaniah. Shout for joy, O daughter Zion. Sing joyfully, O Israel. Be glad and exult with all your heart, O daughter Jerusalem. The Lord has removed the judgment against you. He has turned away your enemies. The King of Israel, the Lord, is in your midst. You have no further misfortune to fear. On that day, it shall be said to Jerusalem, Fear not, O Zion, be not discouraged. The Lord your God is in your midst, a mighty Savior. He will rejoice over you with gladness and renew you in His love. He will sing joyfully because of you as one sings at festivals. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Among you is the Great and Holy One of Israel. Among you is the Great and Holy One of Israel. God indeed is my Savior. I am confident and unafraid. My strength and my courage is the Lord. He has been my Savior. With joy, you will draw water at the fountain of salvation. Among you is the Great and Holy One of Israel. Give thanks to the Lord, acclaim His name. Among the nations, make known His deeds. Proclaim how exalted is His name. Among you is the Great and Holy One of Israel. Sing praise to the Lord for His glorious achievement. Let this be known throughout all the earth. Shout with exultation, O city of Zion, for great in your midst is the Holy One of Israel. Among you is the great and Holy One of Israel. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Mary set out and traveled to the hill country in haste, to a town of Judah, where she entered the house of Zechariah and greeted Elizabeth. When Elizabeth heard Mary's greeting, the infant leaped in her womb, 
And Elizabeth, filled with the Holy Spirit, cried out in a loud voice and said, Most blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb. And how does this happen to me, that the mother of my Lord should come to me? For at the moment the sound of your greeting reached my ears, the infant in my womb leaped for joy. Blessed are you who believe that what was spoken to you by the Lord would be fulfilled. And Mary said, My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God my Savior, for he has looked with favor on his lowly servant. From this day all generations will call me blessed, the Almighty has done great things for me, and holy is His name. He has mercy on those who fear Him in every generation. He has shown the strength of His arm. He has scattered the proud in their conceit. He has cast down the mighty from their thrones and has lifted up the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things and the rich he has sent away empty. He has come to the help of his servant Israel, for he has remembered his promise of mercy, the promise he made to our fathers, to Abraham and his children forever. Mary remained with her about three months and then returned to her home. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. My dear brothers and sisters, on this last day of the month of May, we conclude this Marian month with the Feast of the Visitation of the Blessed Virgin Mary. And as we heard in our gospel today, Mary, with Jesus in her womb, went to Zechariah's house and greeted Elizabeth. And the baby in Elizabeth's womb leaped for joy. That phrase leap for joy was also used in the Old Testament to refer to the dance of David before the Ark of the Covenant when the Ark of the Covenant was brought back to the city of David. David danced with abandon before the Ark of the Covenant, which is the presence of the Lord, David also leaped for joy because of the Lord. This is the same joy mentioned to us by the prophet Zephaniah in our first reading today. The Lord is near. The Lord is with us. Let us shout for joy. Let us sing joyfully to the Lord. Pope Benedict XVI has a beautiful reflection about leaping for joy. He said that the leap of John the Baptist in Elizabeth's womb is parallel to the dance of David before the Ark of the Covenant. They were both leaping for joy for the same reason. And what is that reason? They were leaping for joy because they recognized the nearness of God. And 
Pope Benedict XVI said, this nearness of God, the awareness of the nearness of God causes self-forgetful happiness. The self-forgetful happiness in recognizing the nearness of God. Kapag naramdaman mo na napakalapit ng Diyos, nakakaranas ka ng isang kakaibang klasing galak at yun yung galak na nakakalimutan mo ang iyong sarili dahil ang buong sarili mo ay naibibigay doon sa pinagmumulan ng iyong kagalakan. What a very beautiful term, self-forgetful happiness because the Lord is near. When we experience true joy, we forget ourselves. We let go of ourselves. We lose ourselves in the object of our joy. We lose ourselves in the object of our love. And this we see in our gospel today. Overwhelming with joy, Elizabeth herself forgot all about herself. When she heard Mary's greeting, and when she felt the baby leaping in her womb for joy, she said to Mary, Most blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb. Who am I that the mother of the Lord should come to visit me? She forgot all about herself. Pwedeng-pwede namang sabihin ni Elizabeth, ni Elizabeth, o buti naman dumating ka kasi nahihirapan din ako sa sitwasyon ko. Kailangan ko ng katulong. But she forgot all about herself because of her joy. Her joy was lost in Mary and especially in Jesus in the womb of Mary. And John, the baby in Elizabeth's womb, leaped for joy. She, he also experienced self-forgetful happiness. Nakalimutan yata niya na nasa sinapupunan pa siya. Kaya nagtatalun siya sa galak dahil naramdaman niya ang kanyang Panginoon. And Mary herself manifested that self-forgetful happiness for after she heard the greeting the announcement of the angel Gabriel to her that she would become the mother of God she went in haste to Judea to visit her cousin nagmamadali siyang pumunta kay Elizabeth now Judea was more or less 100 kilometers from Nazareth. It was not a difficult, it was not an easy journey. And it was not only difficult, but it was also a dangerous journey because Judea was a bandit-infested hill country. But she forgot all about that. She forgot the difficulty of travel. She forgot the danger of the, the, the journey. She only wants to share the joy. And she stayed with Elizabeth for three months, probably until Elizabeth gave birth. Her joy was translated to service. My dear brothers and sisters, self-forgetful happiness because of the nearness of God. Sometimes we are happy 
But our happiness makes us focus on ourselves. Our joy is just about myself. But when we experience God, the joy is not selfish. The joy becomes service for others, becomes love for neighbor. We forget all about ourselves and we give our whole self to others and then we experience true joy. My dear brothers and sisters, God visits us every day in many and various ways. God will visit you today. And so be sensitive. May you be able to recognize God who will come and visit you today. Sa pagdalaw ng Diyos sa atin sa araw na ito, sa iba't ibang paraan, makita nawa natin ang Diyos na dumarating sa atin. And we, may we never lose the opportunity to welcome Him as He comes to visit us. And when we recognize His presence, when we feel His nearness, and when we open our lives to welcome Him, we will experience true joy. We will leap for joy. We will dance for joy. And like Mary, we could even sing for joy. And we will forget ourselves in service and charity because all that matters is the happiness, the joy that God gives us. Elizabeth was honored by the visit from the mother of her Lord, but Mary only wished to share her joy. As we rejoice on this feast day, let us bring our prayers to the Father who cherished these chosen women. For every petition, let us say, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That the Church may fully open it's, it's hard to God's word and proclaim it with joy to all peoples and cultures. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That leaders of nations may devise programs for building a better <clears throat> world in the spirit of Mary's humble service. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer that through the inspiration of the Blessed Virgin Mary, we may intensify our efforts in creating a better social order. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That we may show concern for the sick by visiting them and encouraging them. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That those who have died may find in Mary, a true refuge, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray in silence for our personal petitions. Let us remember the people who need our prayers and the intentions offered in this Mass. Lord God, put down the mighty and raise up the humble. Aided by the prayers of the Blessed Virgin Mary, we entrust our hopes to you through Christ our Lord. Amen.
Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may become acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. May your offering of this saving sacrifice be acceptable to your majesty, O Lord, as you were pleased to accept the charity of the most blessed mother of your only begotten Son, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, to praise your mighty deeds in the exaltation of all the saints, and especially as we celebrate the memory of the Blessed Virgin Mary, to proclaim your kindness as we echo her thankful hymn of praise. For truly, even to the ends of the earth, you have done great things and extended your abundant mercy from age to age. When you looked on the lowliness of your handmaid, you gave us through her the author of our salvation, your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Through him, the host of angels adores your majesty and rejoices in your presence forever. May your voices, we pray, join with theirs in one chorus of exultant praise as we acclaim, Holy, Holy, Holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and Broderick, our administrator, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life 
and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through Him, and with Him, and in Him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Let us pray to the Father as Jesus taught us. Our, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, heaven hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold Jesus, the Lamb of God. Behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I, am I am not, not worthy, worthy that, that you should, should enter under, under my roof, roof but, but only say, say the word, and, and my, my soul, soul shall be healed. healed. Act of Spiritual Communion My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the Most Holy Sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. May your church proclaim your greatness, O God, for you have done great things for your faithful. And as St. John the Baptist leaped with joy when he first sensed the hidden presence of Christ, so may your church rejoice to receive in this sacrament the same ever-living Lord, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God.
faithfully, merciful. 